a cop car. I heard it was a cop car, but I... Definitely a cop car. I was on my way home. This is the middle of 52nd Street. All right, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I like to give all praises and glory and honor is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Harakak Wadash. Double honors into the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations into the hopeful elect, noise in the gospel abroad, living up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. I'm coming back with another lesson through the Spirit, titled, or some along, along the lines, titled that, uh, Jake, you're going to get caught out there, man. You know, because uh, what you're seeing now, these riots, these lootings, these uh, different cop shootings of you so-called black men in America, which you all believe is all set up to bring in uh, staged martial law or what they call order out of chaos or order of KO, which means problem, reaction, solution. You create a problem, then the people react to it and you come with the solution. Um, this happened two or three days ago. This one Jake, which they had on footage, it looked like he was rushing the authorities with uh, a knife in his hand and they put a few, you know, they put some hot ones in him. And um, that sparked protests, it sparked riots, you know, and this is the result of it here in Philadelphia. You know, people are vandalizing Walmarts, Foot Lockers, which you can tell that this is some type of uh, PSYOP or some type of Antifa uh, government PSYOP. Because for one thing, if people are really tired of oppression and tyranny, why aren't they going out to the oppressors, man? Like you got Planned Parenthood, that's... Uh, a downtrodden of the Negroes neighborhood, you know, including Hispanics and Native Americans. Child support is a big detriment among people of color families that have totally broken and just destroyed the whole human concept of family. You know, uh, the tax offices, why you people are, are looting foot lockers and Walmarts and businesses where you shop at that brings goods to your homes, putting clothes on your back, shoes on your feet. Why would you go and destroy those businesses when you got the real oppressor like child support, government facilities? These are the places that you would think that will be targeted among you people of color. But this is, shows you that this is nothing more but a, a stage attack, which some of these looters out here are actually legit looters because most of these jakes, they don't know what the hell is going on. But then again, you know, you got these people that get the memo, you know, they say, well, look cop riots broke out cop shot a guy 12 times a man of color all right we're gonna send an email to these sleeper cells that's on standby in these major cities and before you know it we need you to deploy to these cities and start fucking shit up within two hours time limit and before you know it the streets are crowded with agents agent provocateurs which they're called paid agitators you know and you got some legitimate riots and then you got people that don't even engage in riot or looting because that's not their fill of forte. They're going to get caught up in this because what's going to happen is that the fact that martial law is going to be declared because what's going to happen is they're going to declare a state of emergency and they're going to say that the police force, they can't seem to get these crowds under control. So therefore, we need to up the security parameters. Like, I'm going to play a few more videos, man. And this is crazy, you know, because this is part of prophecy. This is what Yahweh Shai said will happen before his coming. And we're witnessing these things. And we've told you that these things were going to happen. You know, we say it can happen in six months, a year, two years, two weeks. You know, we didn't have a, a definitive time frame because, you know, the scriptures say no man knows the day and hour. But we know that they're coming. And look at this. You got this cop right here with, with the riot shield on. Well, the riot face, the face shield, look like he got blood on him. Whether it came from hitting somebody upside the head or whatever, but. At the end of the day, these things are all set up to bring in some type of martial law, man. And on top of that, they could be justified on stating that these numbers are picking up among the people that's getting sick with this infection. So, hey, man, we at the doors, brothers. You know, and I don't see this letting up anytime soon. Because 2021, that's going to be a hell of a year if the Lord permits. 
you know so anyway uh let me play another video real quick and just kind of give you brothers more insight because it says at least 30 officers hurt in philadelphia let's see what fox news says you know this is uh up a paid opposition and they're bought and paid for but nonetheless they still cover uh, some facts And you know the news twist shit all the time, you know. Primary example, I was watching a movie Light It Up last night with Usher, and it's about a group of high school students that took over a school based on a cop shooting himself in the leg, and they held them hostage. And before they can even defend themselves, the media <laughs> labeled them thugs and terrorists. When in fact, a lot of them was just upstanding students, you know. You know, they were just uh, uh, just an unfortunate day at the school, you know. So we know that the media is dogma, but nonetheless, you know, we still. You know, we still go by because it's prophecy. But Salaki, here we go. In Philadelphia, riots overnight there. 30 officers hurt and more than 30 people have been arrested after violence erupted overnight. Several Ooh. stores looted, damaged during the unrest there. The protests growing now after police shot and killed a man who had a knife and wouldn't put it down. Look at this. Jackie Abanya is, is joins us live. She's been covering this story all night. Uh, Jackie, the sun's coming up and everything seems to be broken or stolen. Yep, yep. Now it's time to uh, look at what's left, Brian Stephen Ainsley. One officer in critical condition this morning and 29 other officers with minor injuries after chaos erupted in the streets of Philadelphia overnight, which you saw following a deadly police shooting just hours earlier. <laughs> And just to let you brothers know, when they are chanting those things, they're what they're doing. They're creating a seance. Basically, they're channeling an energy or spirit behind these riots. Like the George Floyd, you know, uh, the particular chant they had behind them. If you look at uh, the Black Lives Matter website, and I believe they took down uh, parts of what they're about as far as the destroying the nuclear family. But it tells you that they're basically trained Marxists, you know, and that organization is nothing but witchcraft. So... The lady even bought out and said, yeah, we're trying to conjure the spirit of the deceased person, which is necromancy. You're trying to raise the dead. So when it says, ain't no good pigs in my hood, ain't no good pigs in my hood, that's promoting a vibration out there. All right. That's putting people in a mental trance to get violent and to get aggressive and to start attacking and rioting. And this is what they want. You know, it's all it's all sorcery. This is all witchcraft, man, which is going to lead to bigger devastation, bigger judgment. You know, and eventually, you how about you? I was shy returning with the angels of heaven to bring back peace and unity to this earth and set up the israelites in power and that's what we're patiently waiting on all right hundreds of people marching through the streets demanding police reform before violence erupted protesters were seen looting throwing bricks and rocks at officers setting a cruiser on fire and even running a sergeant over mm. look at this <laughs> Unbelievable. A Judgment. black pickup truck plowing through an intersection there. The sergeant was taken to the hospital with a broken leg. The driver was reportedly arrested. The unrest starting when police responded to a call about a man with a knife. He was later identified as 27-year-old Walter Wallace Jr. You can see him right here in this video. He reportedly approached two officers with the knife as they ordered him to drop it. A woman believed to be Wallace's mother begs officers not to shoot moved them again that's when the officers opened fire and shot several times one of the officers drove wallace to the hospital where he later died both officers involved have been taken off duty this morning while the city's district attorney i don't think that's true because i think as many shots went into that man i think he died on the spot that show you that they this is the talking heads like the scriptures say that they uh tongue spreading mischief deceit this is nothing more but uh the same this is nothing but media which media goes back into a goddess called Medea a media which means the god of entertainment all right the god of acting which the word actor goes into hypocrite because you're taking on a personification of a different deity and that's what media is it means the goddess of entertainment all right investigate steve brian ainsley all right thank you very much this, from the north lawn of the white house let's go to Alyssa farah she's the white house director of communications Alyssa, good morning to you Good morning. Thanks for having me. You bet. I'm sure the White House is monitoring the activities in uh, Philadelphia. Started after that man was shot by police at 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. There has been chaos and rioting uh, throughout the night in Philly. 
Absolutely. We're monitoring the situation closely. If necessary, we'll be standing by and prepared to deploy federal resources. I want to make one thing clear. President Trump will not tolerate any violence directed at America's law enforcement. And look, the actual case, we're going to let the facts play out, let the investigation play out, but we will not tolerate lawlessness in our streets. So, Alyssa, will you have to wait for the mayor of Philly to ask for help, or might you just send somebody in? That, that's a question for DOJ and the Department of Homeland Security, but I know this president has made clear before, whether it was in Seattle or Portland or others, we're prepared to deploy federal law enforcement if necessary, so I'm sure those conversations are ongoing now. We will. And this just shows you how Jake, man, how they're going to get caught up out there because what's going to happen is a lot of you going to get caught up and they're going to be put in these FEMA camps. You're going to be detained. You're going to be chipped. You're going to be falsely inoculated. You know, you're going to be pretty much a, a, a token of, of deposition up in these camps, man. And this is all that they setting you up for. Even the ones of you that have nothing to do with this madness, you're going to be the ones that they setting up because this is what they want. They want you to loot. They want you to ride. They want you to do these crazy things, you know. And really, this is the scriptures. The scriptures say this is going to happen. Like, you got niggas in here trying to go get Jordans and shit, you know. And you know this is in Jake's neighborhood because ain't no Foot Lock in Esau's neighborhood. Only Foot Locker you would get in Esau's neighborhood is if it's, if it's a mall in the vicinity. But you ain't going to get no Foot Locker on, on uh, Northwest 72nd Street and Poppin' Burger Avenue. Hell no, nah, man. Or Doc McStuffins Avenue. You know, even the streets got vibration names in there. And they just sitting back watching you, Jakes, even though some of them could be paid. But they just sitting back watching you, making note of you because they do got facial recognition now, you know. They have all these things. You're right on camera. Don't think that they're not watching you. Then you got that COVID tracking shit. So you niggas are out your damn minds, man. To think that Esau ain't gonna come for you. But this is what they want. Alright? So this is the book of Second Edges, 15th chapter. Alright? And it says here. Woe to them in the world that dwell therein. It says, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh. And one people should stand up and fight against another in swords in their hands. And that's what you're saying. All right, because like the Apostle Tara said, he said they don't want to kill everybody. They really want to chip people because it ain't going to do no good for them to kill off potential slaves. What good it is if you want to go have the elite chipped and the elite, they're not going to get chipped. You know, Rothschild, Rockefeller, you know, DuPont, you know, uh, 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 Lee, they're not going to get chipped, man. That's for you common folk out here. That's for you regular work, you peon, you goyim, you know, and the elect, we're not going to get chipped. Lord's will we have that number, you know. And it says here, for there should be sedition among men, invading one another, all right? What you're seeing, people are going to be breaking in each other's houses, you know, people are going to be uh, killing one another, shooting each other, fighting like a bunch of damn demons, like a brother uploaded a video that I didn't get to fully watch, but they said a lot of women are buying weapons now. Why is that? Because women know that they're going to be the primary uh, recipient of a targeted attack. When all hell breaks loose, when lawlessness abounds and there's no cops in play, no simps around, a lot of you women will be the main target out here of, of, of getting destroyed, all right? And this is why a lot of women are buying weapons, which it ain't going to do to no good because, for one thing, a woman with a weapon, that's like Russian roulette. If she don't shoot herself, she may panic and shoot the wrong person or she may never get a chance to get the shot off because she's going to totally function off fear and emotion, you know? So you women out there, you know subconsciously you need protection. You need a protector. But a lot of you are buying weapons because you know you've done men dirty to the point that no man is going to come to your defense in that day. Definitely not a man of the Lord. <laughs> okay? So uh, it says here, For there should be sedition among men invading one another, and they should not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions to stand in their own power. And this is what you're seeing in a roundabout way. This is citizens taking the law into their own hands, not giving a damn about who's doing what or who's saying what. They feel like they're oppressed. They're going to go and loot and riot, which this is really a stupid way of getting your message out. Because honestly, man, if you really want to fight tyranny, you need to go to these child support offices. You need to go to these judges, these senators, these congressmen, you know, these tax collectors, these IRS people. And you need to go in there and you need to drag them out because they are the primary recipient behind all our misery and our pain. Planned Parenthoods, you know. Instead, you want to go attack Foot Locker, 
a place that you're going to be mad when they ain't got the J's for your simple ass next week because you looted the store. But let's go, let's go torch Footlock. Let's go torch Walmart, right? The hell out of here. That's how you know this is a strategically orchestrated attack, man. And people don't think like that because people don't know how to look behind the spectrum. They don't know how to dig deep. Like my man Morpheus say, he said, come with me and I'll show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So it's more to it at play that you can see with the bare eye. All right. This is part of a, a, a particular design that E has been conjuring up in order to bring about his uh, his enterprise on the planet Earth, which is known as the NWO, New World Order. And it says, and a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. And that's the spirit. Brother just uploaded a video, the brother from Boston, and it says things are speeding up. And it is speeding up, man. I mean, prophecy is just like domino effects. Like, I can't keep up. I'm fucking eight ball behind, man. I'm every day, no matter how much work I do, as many videos as we put out, I'm behind 50. I got a, a watch later list that's constantly growing. I can't clear it. You know, and it's frustrating because I want to watch every brother video, but I'll be up watching videos from here to the fucking kingdom, man. Salakia, not the fucking kingdom, but the kingdom, man. You know, Salakia, part of my slip with the tongue. Didn't mean no respect, disrespect by that. 17, but a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. Martial law. You're going to have people that's going to be setting up their own tracks in their own neighborhoods. You're going to have people that's going to fight to keep the cops out. Like you go in these little hick towns, these, you know, these little uh, freedom fighters that believe in their constitutional rights. They're going to be setting up martial law in their own hoods, in their own neighborhoods. Like down in Louisiana, they had something which was called, if you were darker than a brown paper bag, you getting your ass lit up. All right. And they weren't even letting cops in there. And that's the spirit. 4144444. That's the spirit. Call all you have about you, man. I was shot. You know, they weren't even letting cops in there, man. So it's going to be a standoff between cops and citizens and troops. A lot of cops going to go AWOL and start siding with the citizens because a lot of cops, man, they ain't with what's going on. You know, even though the quiet is kept, a lot of cops they ain't with the bullshit. And it says here, for because of the pride, the city should be destroyed. City should be troubled and the house should be destroyed and men afraid. And this is pride. You're going to loot a footlocker. Like, what the hell, man? A footlocker? Out of all the places in the world, you're going to go to footlocker, you know, and steal. And crazy part about it is they tracking all you people, man. They tracking your designs, man. They know, they know what was stolen. This is why they have what they call inventory. They know what was stolen and what wasn't and who did what. So, hey, you get them people's knocking at your door because you got stolen merchandise in your possession. Don't be surprised, you know. But it says here, and a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, which is trouble. Perilous times, all right, because you have to understand that all this is going to lead into opening up these detention, detention centers, these FEMA camps like Walmart. Those are on the books of being government internment facilities. You got targets, you got apartment developments, you got uh, all sorts of places, uh, factories, you know, like it, uh, like the old GM factory that's out here in Kansas City, Missouri. I think that's a black ops site. I haven't been down there in some years, but the last time I was down there, it looked like it was an abandoned building. But you can tell that people still go in and out because they have the uh, tinted glass at the bottom, you know, look like bulletproof glass almost like they can see out, but you can't see in. And I believe that's a black ops site because it's part of an old rail yard, you know, the old GM plant. So on, I believe Leeds Road or something like that. Brothers can look it up. But anyway, this is the book of second address nine and one. It says, and he answered me and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. OK, it's what we're doing, bringing out the lessons, the prophecies. We're keeping track of these things. Scriptures say, pray, therefore, watch. So therefore, we're watching the prophecies, all right? We report on it. We ain't making no freaking rap videos and, you know, being in a hot seat for doing a bunch of dumb shit, all right? We're teaching the word of the most high, which you guys should be doing, but you're not. It says, and when thou seest part of the science patch, which I've told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. This is Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. They're visiting the planet Earth right now, all right? Through the riots, through the tension, through the police brutality, uh, through the economic, through the COVID, through the lockdowns, through the RFID chip, through the vax, they, the most high is visiting this place, finally. And we're watching this bitch burn, man. And you people, you gonna go down with it, you know? 
And it says here, then thou shalt understand that this is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes, we're seeing that. Uproars of the people. Oh, this is uproars of the people here. And this is going on every goddamn where. This ain't just in America. They're riding over there in France. They're riding over there in the UK. Parts of Germany. This whole world is on fire, man. Just like Yahweh Shah uh, predicted. He prophesied. It says, in uproars of people in the world. Then thou shall well understand. It says well. So you should be able to look at the time and say, oh, yep, that's that. That's the definitive. That's what's going on. You should be able to say that, man. We in Revelations, you know. That the Most High spake of those things from the days which were before thee, even from the beginning. So anything we're waiting on now is the World War Three. Prior to that, the chip. And the deliverance is really the only prophecies left. Because this has been a prophetic year since the beginning, since January all the way up until look like December, because we're in the month of October now. It's been nothing but prophetic events, day in, day out. So the Lord is speeding this thing up. So how much more when the chip come? But it says here, then thou shalt very well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, right? Because the prophets have always spoke on the times we're coming into, always, even four or five thousand years ago, prophets spoke of this very day, and it has been accurate, and it's coming to pass. For it's like that it's all that is in the world hath the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works innings and effects and signs all right looting businesses chariots you know like i went to work this morning man i kid you not it was a red moon the moon was like declining and i kid you not man i turned to five minutes i got in the truck the moon was gone because the sun was coming up but it was like a complete full moon you know what i'm saying and it looked like it was red but it was so close to the horizon to the point it looked like the moon was rising but it was really you know decreasing while the sun was coming up it's crazy and tomorrow night we're supposed to have what you call a super blue moon, all right, on Halloween, all right, which goes back to San Juan, which is an ancient Druid and Celtic holiday a festival for the dead, followed by All Saints Day, which is November 1st. So it's a lot of shit that's being done here, man. You know, it says, have the beginning and the end. It says, and the end is manifested. Even so, also of the highest have plain beginnings, wonders, endings, and works, and effects, and signs. But everyone that should be saved and should be able to escape by his works, these shows, charity, brotherhood, you know, love in the brotherhood, you know, loving the most high. Calling on the name of the Lord is part of the work, Nate. And by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. So, brothers, hey, we, 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 got, we got a lot to fulfill. We want to get delivered, man. So, everything we do up until this point, since we came into the ministry, the Lord is looking at. He's very, he's putting a magnet scope under our works, man. So we got to be upright. And I speak to myself when I say that. And within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me in the beginning. All right. But then they should be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways. It says, and they that have cast them away despitefully should dwell in torment. So you guys out there, oh, Jacob Stubble is gay. Ain't going to be no chip. It's June, ain't no microchips. You guys have totally despised the word of the Most High. Therefore, he's going to despise you. You know? You're going to be left behind in that day. Why? Because you totally negated the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Uh, There's a scripture I was looking for. It just slept my mind. Oh, yeah, Khan. I believe this is Luke. I think Luke 12 and I think it's Luke if I'm not mistaken 12 and 29 no wrong no 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 Salaki man I I fuck man I don't know how I forgot that scripture Matthew's 12 no wrong one again I think it's Luke and I'm not trying to go to the surgery bar because I should remember this. I don't know. I'm tripping. Yeah, Luke 12 and 49. That's right. The words of Yahweh Shai. It says, I am coming to send fire on the earth. And what would I if it had already been kindled? This is the fires that we're seeing here. All right. But anyway, with that, brothers, all praises and glory on it is due to Yahweh Shai. Shimei Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of great millstone and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And with that, Shalom.